Hello, beautiful family. Welcome into your daily. This is going to be for all signs. We are going to um, just see what the energy is for today. Um, it could be for love, romantic love, relationships, um, career, spiritual growth, personal development, healing, and sometimes I just get really random messages um, for whoever this is for. So um, it's interesting because when I was getting into the energy, I was just cleansing my space. I was actually cleansing some of the rooms. Um, and I just kept feeling that something was correcting itself. Something was an energy in your life, an energy in the collective, an energy in the cosmos. I don't know how personalized it is. It does feel very personal um, to you individually. Um, could also be collectively, I don't know, but it just feels like something is correcting itself. And it just wants to be like this energy is meant to um, be left alone, like not fiddled with, not, um, it's like we're trying to control it in a way, or it's, it's like an expectation of something, um, worrying about something, wondering about something, um, in turn creates resistance for that very thing to transform, resistance for the very energy to um, blossom in its natural um, evolution, so to speak. So um, something is trying to correct itself, okay, in your life. Um, and this also feels very collective, like on a larger collective scale too, it needs, something is correcting itself. Um, so where I want to go, I want to get a whole bunch of like oracles out for some reason, like I'm feeling the shamans here, the mystical shaman. Okay. I'm feeling a lot of fire energy. I saw the fire card in my head. Sun. I don't know. All right, something is correcting itself. That's the theme that I feel intuitively. So let's see what the cards have to say. Let's see the messages that need to come out. Again, we're going to touch on all topics. I do my best to timestamp them in the comment section down below. But, you know, I recommend you watching the entirety of the reading to see what is there for you. Because sometimes I'll just say something at random. But is it random? <laughs> okay. All right. One more shuffle. All right. Trust a great mystery. <laughs> the whale spirit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Trust a great mystery. Just trust it. See, it's it's number 65, which is 11. Um, whales t uh, bring a lot of energy of the depth. Um, something is correcting itself here. Trust a great mystery. Trust it. Trust it. The spirit be your guide, number 32, hawk spirit. You know what's interesting is um, I did the Pisces read yesterday and it was like really weird and really crazy, um, which is not going to resonate with a lot of people. Um, and the high priestess is at the bottom of this deck. And we got the whale spirit that says, trust a great mystery. And there's a high priestess that has a scroll and says, darkness into darkness, the key to all mystery. And we were just saying the whale is all about the depth, right? Um, okay. I'm, I keep getting this energy. And I talked about this before of like something out of your hands, like it's completely out of your hands. This energy is very cosmic. It feels very universal. It feels um, part of fate, part of destiny, part of an, an energy's natural way of evolving. It's just like the cycles, right? It's just like your cycles, um, how cycles that you go through, the end is inevitable, right? It's like restricting the end from happening, restricting it 
because of expectations. There's an expectation here. Someone here has an expectation, whether this is in a romantic relationship, whether this is career, whether this is a friendship, however this is sitting with you, there's an expectation here and you're, resist you're restricting the energy of this from playing out naturally. Spirit is guiding you to let go. This is number five, 32, five. Okay, change. There's a change that wants to occur in your life. There's an energy here that wants to correct itself. But I'm feeling a lot of resist, not, I don't want to say resistance. It's a, it's a restriction, they're saying. It's a restriction. All right. But it's interesting how they're saying, let it correct itself. Let it correct itself. It's almost like something went south. Something went unexpectedly um, in the wrong direction. Something um, didn't play out the way you thought it would. And it's like it's being redirected here by spirit. So that's why spirit is saying, let us correct this. Let us correct this. Okay, just let it let let go. Let us correct this. Let go. Let let go. The heart of the sky, right? It's very cosmic. This is number six. Okay, we're just talking about balance. So the heart of the sky, the universe, is creating here balance. Okay, to restore balance is what I'm feeling here with the heart of the sky, which is you know we're talking about we're in Libra season. Um, Earth which is number 17, which is eight. And then one flew all the way over here. How lovely. Right beside my painting, <laughs> where I painted Goddess Aya. Um, you hear the journey, okay, which is 29, which is 11. So you do have here 11, 11, 11, 11. They said there's one more. Just one second. And then we'll get into the tarot. The beloved. Something else wanted to almost come out. The curse and completion. They almost wanted to come out. See, this is another five. Okay, so you do have here five, five. Okay, and 11, 11. Okay, so the numbers that you could be seeing today or as of late... 555 five, five, and 11, 11, okay? I want to say, for those of you who are in doubt of love, like um, feeling loved by the universe, or you, you are always surrounded in love, okay? This is self-love and love. This is self-love, loving your journey, um, feeling loved. I'm thinking of Taurus here in the reading. Um, because they had this reading called The Lover and the Beloved. I don't know why immediately I'm thinking of that. You could be a Taurus. You could have Taurus in your chart, or maybe you're just guided to watch that reading and it doesn't matter what sign you are. You're unconditionally loved by the universe, by source, by the earth. Okay, that's a reminder. Some, something here is correcting and changing and you're unaware of where it's taking you next on your journey, on your path here on earth. Um, I just heard the word bold. There's a bold decision that is upcoming. Okay, I got to get into the tarot. I looked at the heart of the sky and earth and all I could see is bold, something very bold. These are bold energies. These are universal energies. These are cosmic energies and they're bridged. They're connected. This is like um, heaven and this is earth. I did this reading for Virgo once called the combination ritual and something here is combining 
heaven and earth is combining it's a combination ritual they're combining they're combining their love they're combining the energy of love because love is consistent in everything right it's in all things but it's almost like something is combining here there's a ritual that is taking place between heaven and earth i know this sounds kind of wild but that's what i'm seeing there's a ritual there's a cosmic ritual that the spirit that the guides that the universe is doing here let this is what i'm saying they're correcting this they're correcting something on your journey something that you care deeply about something that you are that you love something that you have put your all in you have put something all in now i'm hearing all in you've put something all in and these cosmic forces these cosmic energies are combining their energies they're doing a ritual to correct let spirit be your guide they're correcting it my candle's going nuts okay let's get some more this is an interesting one today i feel this in my heart space there's something that you really need. This is something that you need, not what you want. This is something that you need, and you know this is something that you need. Like, you need this. You need this. You need this to be corrected. It's like, I can't correct this on my own. That's why the heart of the sky and the earth, that's why these two cosmic energies are here. These are really big. I don't know why people make really big cards. <laughs> Or maybe I just have small hands. Okay. Ton of cups. See? It's something that you love dearly. It's something that you love dearly. Page of Swords. I want to say, like, for some of you, you tried to fix something. Okay, this could be you tried to fix something in your family. Okay, some of you, this is family. You tried to fix something in your family. You tried to fix something in your home. Yeah, five of cups. You're worn out. I'm feeling worn. I'm worn out. I am tired. I am fatigued. Someone is trying to figure out how to fix this. Okay, here with the page of swords. Temperance. <laughs> Temperance. Alchemy. What did we say, right? Combining two things, right? The combination ritual. Look at these two portals. Look at this. Remember how I said I was feeling fire? Like the sun, I saw the fire card. I literally thought this was a fire card, but it's the when it jumped out, but it's the beloved card. Um, but look at this, like the sun. Look at the fire and look at the water, right? Um, heaven, earth, heaven, earth, spirit, earth. Temperance is, temperance is um, oh, what's her name? Russell at Rustling Around, if you don't follow him, please do. He talks about, oh, what's her name? Mary the Jewess. Yes, I remembered. Mary the Jewess was the first female alchemist okay so powerful right alchemy combining things okay this is a there's spirits doing a combination ritual here this is about putting something back together correcting something right we talked about balance here The chariot. <laughs> For 
restrictions. Eight of Swords. Look where it's under. Five of Cups. Right? And that's what we talked about. Ten of Pentacles. Ten, ten. The star. There is the sun. <laughs> and the two of swords. Wow. The tower. Wow, 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 wow. Love it. I love it. I love this energy. Okay. Let's get into the messages. Um, okay. So... Let go. Okay, completely let it go. There is a way that you can let go. You can just say, I surrender. Okay, I surrender. Um, you can write some, you can write whatever it is that you need help on. Write it on a piece of paper, burn it away, let it go. Okay, let the universe, let source, let your, let spirit guide you through this, guide you out. Let spirit correct this for you, right? What is this? Divine intervention. The tower. I'm literally seeing someone trying to do this on their own, figuring it out. I'm figuring it, figuring it out. I'm finding a new way. I'm getting more information. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. Someone is here constantly overthinking. I'm seeing overthinking here. Look at this energy. Completely overthinking. How do I fix this? What does this mean? Let me correct this. I got to figure this out. I got to figure this out constantly. It's like always on your mind, whatever this is, whether this is a romantic relationship family, career, job, whatever it is in your life. You're trying to fix it on your own. You're trying to correct something that went off the rails. You're trying to correct something that didn't manifest, okay? That didn't manifest, that didn't come to pass in the way that you thought it would, okay? Spirit is saying there is movement happening universally here with the chariot there is movement happening you're just not seeing it because you're constantly in your head about it you're constantly in this energy trying to figure out the what if so i should have done this differently what if i went down this path what if i didn't say that what if i didn't express myself what if i just waited what if i it's just like all of these things that i see someone doing constantly of and spirits like let this go so we can move this energy along this energy is correcting itself you can literally see a tower here at the back being rebuilt this is a tower being um this is the energy that is um being destructed and the chariot is bringing in a new tower the chariot is bringing in a new energy look at that do you see that that's really cool The chariot is bringing in a new structure in your life. Something, a new structure. Ten of Pentacles. Something more stable. Okay? Something solid. Something renewed. Something tangible. Something that is balanced. Okay? This energy is the byproduct of this combination ritual. Look at the rainbow. This is completely... The universe, this is completely spirit. Okay? Have faith. Have faith. Okay? Give it... Listen. I was at a really tough time in my life. Okay? Um, and I could not stop seeing the number 646. 646 everywhere. And this is not a number that is, you know, part of the generic angel numbers that we see day to day, every day, all day. And so one day I just decided to Google 646. Nothing resonated. Nothing really like struck. And then there's like someone that had this like little blog on a website and I clicked it and I said, oh, whatever, I'll just read it. This person wrote two sentences and said, surrender your worries and your concerns. That's all it said. 
other things, you know, about you're worried and stressed. Surrender your worries and your concerns. And it struck me to my soul. And I said, oh, okay. Surrender. Surrender. It's like this literally is you're worrying too much. And that's something that I really don't like to say to people. <laughs> but spirits like this is an energy of you're worrying way too much for what's actually happening that you just don't see yet. And you won't see them do this. This is all energetic. You don't see them working. You don't see Mary the Jewess, the temperance energy, trying to do this combination ritual, combining heaven and earth and cosmic forces together. You don't see chariot bringing in this new energy. You don't see that. That's why they're saying trust the great mystery. Trust it. If you don't trust, there's nothing. If you don't trust, you're just going to continuously restrict this energy from correcting itself. Energy is intrinsic. Energy is smart. You are smart. Your body, your spirit, your mind, you're smart. It's a smart system. The universe is intrinsic. Allow it to be intelligent. That's what spirit is saying. Allow Allow yourself to flow in this intelligence. Two of Swords. You don't see it. You don't see it. You don't trust. You want to do this all on your own. You're not alone in this. Okay? You have here the Star and the Sun. Complete renewal. Complete revitalization and renewal and renewed hope. There's renewed hope in something. Okay? There's renewed hope in something because there is something that you're going to see in your 3D reality that says, wow, something did change, didn't it? Wow, something did restore, didn't it? Wow, this energy did correct itself. Wow, I feel different today. Because you trusted and you let go and you let this energy correct itself. All right, let me get into some other things um, as it pertains to love life like you can take that whole message as to into your love life okay some of you think something isn't happening with a person um, I'm seeing a Leo Aquarius Sagittarius Cancer Aries could be could be other signs but these are the prominent signs that I feel in love okay I feel that there is hope that is lost something that you thought was something that would be birthed or born or um, developed or evolved in a very beautiful way like you you would envisioned it you envisioned it one way it happened like the complete opposite like you did not expect it either here with the tower you didn't expect something to go south in a relationship in a connection with this person so you're trying to figure out how to talk to them you're trying to figure out okay what do I say or maybe you're stuck in that what if right what if I said something different what if I what if I'd done something different, okay? For some of you, if this isn't you, it's the other person here with the Five of Cups. They're in regrets. They're thinking about the past and they're stuck. Someone is stuck in the past. Someone is stuck in the past wondering about what they could have done, should have done, and the decision that this person did not take here. Okay, with the Eight of Swords and the Chariot, I see this person restricting making a decision, restricting communication, restricting seeing something, um, and now they're in regret over it. They're saying, what did I miss? I keep hearing that. What did I miss? 
What did I miss? It could be you or the other person. Okay, what did I miss? I'm seeing a renewal in this connection. Okay, it's the same energy where the chariot. Okay, it's the same energy. It's the same theme of letting it go. Allow this, allow this relationship, allow the energy. Trust the relationship between you and this person. Trust the love that you have with you and this person. It's going to correct itself. It's going to correct itself, okay? The old is gone, the new is here, right? Chariot is bringing in the tower. A new energy, a new tower in a sense. It's like a, a, a renewal. Um, it's like an old paradigm is that old tower and the new tower is a new paradigm. It's a new structure, it's a new energy, it's a new form. Um, it's a new paradigm in your life. Something tangible, something long-term, this relationship and this love is for the long haul. It's for the long journey. Okay, here with the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the journey. You may not see it that way because of the way that it has gone south. This person does love you. Okay, this isn't someone that treats you horribly or blocked you or whatever. This person, there's some kind of un... Um, some kind of circumstance that was unexpected in someone's life, okay? And it's like they had to um, they had to focus on that. Okay, it's like it's something completely unrelated to you. It's something in this person's life, okay? Because I'm seeing this energy like it's it's coming apart to come back together. It's coming apart to come back together, right? The theme of this whole reading is let something correct itself. Let this energy correct itself. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm getting in love. It's, it's interesting. That's the only thing I'm getting in love because I'm seeing is there any other messages? Is there a singles message? There's no singles message here for today, unfortunately. Okay, there was a singles message yesterday. So if you're single wondering for a message, there was a message in there yesterday. I'm not seeing any, any single energy. Okay, in regards to career... In regards to career, this someone had to, um, you have a, okay, I'm seeing someone, you have a family, okay, um, your job was taking a toll on the family, it's like your time was constantly at work, this could be someone in the family, this could be your spouse, um, okay, take it as it applies, but someone was constantly, it's like they chose their work, they chose their work instead of their family. They chose the money instead of their family. But in regards to um, providing for the family, not in the way that you think it is. There's something that you're not seeing or there's something that you're not understanding, okay? Yeah, this person made a choice. This person made a choice, okay, to like be at work. It's to provide. But I'm seeing that they're not there emotionally. There's a lot of love in the family. They're just not there emotionally. Um, so there I feel like in this home, it feels very distant, like emotional distance. This could be how you grew up, okay? This could be like your father or your mother. Some of you, this is a childhood wound that is coming up for you. I'm seeing a child here stuck. I'm seeing a child trying to break out, trying to break free, trying to look for love, trying to look for, trying like they're trying to reach their family. I'm seeing this, this child trying to reach their family. So some of you, this is a child wound childhood wound that you're remembering a childhood wound that you are trying to figure out trying to get more information on okay it's so 
some of you, um, you keep attracting, um, you keep attracting relationships that mirror this energy for you to heal. Okay. So you could be loosely involved or you could be single. So now I'm kind of tapping into a singles energy where there is a childhood wound that is coming up where there was a lack of love in a family okay in a family dynamic whether this came from your mom or this came from your dad okay and the relationships that you are having is a direct reflection of that childhood wound okay again let spirit be your guide let this energy correct itself send it out into the universe spirit is helping and assisting you to heal this energy remember 646 surrender your worries and your concerns okay i'm seeing um i'm seeing that once you heal this wound once you look deeper into this it's you're going to find more balance in yourself you're going to find more stability in yourself you're going to find more self-love um and i am seeing a family heal like i'm seeing communication here with the page of swords communication to the mom or the dad i'm seeing forgiveness i'm seeing forgiveness which brings in renewal okay forgiveness is very key for someone i just heard i literally just heard i don't want to forgive um that's your prerogative um do what you want to do i'm not going to tell anyone to do but you know spirit is guiding that you know forgiveness is a powerful thing forgiveness is a, a powerful healing energy um okay um i'm seeing someone leave a job okay and you don't know where you're going some of you could have been let go from a job i'm seeing someone let go from a job um and you don't know where it is that you are going you don't know if you're going to find another job um again surrender your words and your concerns let this correct itself you are there's going to be a surprise um opportunity here for you something that you don't see okay it's going to be you're going to find yourself very successful in this oppor in this new job opportunity in this new career this does feel like a new career someone did a career shift um someone left their job and they went into something and they didn't expect that they would struggle a little bit financially um but i'm seeing that pick up okay i'm seeing that pick up here with a ton of pentacles i'm seeing more stability i'm sensing a lot of distance um a distant lover a distant family member i'm seeing that reconcile like a, a grandmother i'm seeing a grandmother is distant from you but you were very close i don't i they're not gone like they're not i'm not seeing them in the spirit world i'm actually seeing them here on earth like a, a grandmother there's okay this is a very specific message there's something about a grandmother where you made a choice you made a choice to live your life a certain way. Um, this grandmother could be very religious and you're more spiritual. It's almost like a grandmother finding out that you do tarot cards. And she's like, what? Tarot cards are evil, blah, blah, blah. And you're just like, no, they're not. They're not. It's like I'm hearing this conversation where like someone is very traditional and very religious. And um, someone's like, I don't know. There's some kind of choice that you went down. Um, and the grandmother... Is very is not happy but you two were close once I am seeing a reconciliation okay I am seeing a reconciliation I'm seeing healing in that relationship okay after it broke because this chariot is bringing in new energy okay this, this chariot is bringing in a new structure okay so I am being that mended and healed I'm telling you the combination ritual what spirit is doing right now is really powerful stuff really really powerful stuff Um, 
someone's like old dynamic like i'm seeing an old dynamic an old paradigm someone's just life is just completely not the same and you don't know what the new beginning is going to look like you don't know how it is um again i think we talked about that right it's just about trust um some of you started a new job and you don't know what it's going to bring for you it's going to bring you a lot of prosperity some of you are like really worried that you're going to repeat old patterns in a job like um whether this is like inconsistency or you fear getting let go or you fear not being loved at your job or you fear not being appreciated at your job um but this is like an old paradigm it's like you spirit is saying that you are where you are on your journey um you've been guided there you are um exactly where you need to be okay and i'm seeing like that's just a mindset that you need to shift out of because you're going to be extremely successful at the position that you are currently in it's like just have no doubt just have hope um that this is your journey just have hope that this is your path okay um trust that this is your path excuse me yeah everything's gonna be fine like you're you're gonna be you're gonna find a lot of success in that position you just need to let go of that mindset and that success and that momentum is just gonna that momentum um here with the chariot is just gonna keep taking you um further up the ladder i just heard further up the ladder so you're gonna get some some kind of promotion that's very unexpected here with the tower someone's getting an unexpected promotion I'm seeing that someone has a child um, and you're not happy with the with the path that they're on. Um, you're worried that they're making the wrong choices. You're worried that they have made the wrong choice. Some of you, you're worried about the choices they're going to make or they actually have made choices that you see is restricting them of their um, gifts and abilities and their talents. Um, I am seeing that spirit is going to like redirect them. They are going to have a tower moment that you will have to allow them to go through. Okay. Because it's their journey. It's their journey and you are there to, you know, love them and support them. Um, and let them go through it. Let them go through it. They, they're very smart. They're a very smart child. Um, of yours um, they're gonna be fine <laughs> they're gonna be fine they're gonna it's like learning from their mistakes it's, it's like allowing them to fall scrape their knee they'll learn right um, they're gonna be fine they're gonna get on the right track okay some of you this could be a friend that you're worried about um, it could be a spouse that you're worried about um, okay take that message as it applies to you but specifically I was getting a child um, I'm seeing a dancer. I'm seeing an injured dancer. Injured. There's an injury that took place. Okay, I'm seeing a dancer could also be an athlete um some an injured athlete and injured there was an injury um because i'm seeing here with the star ooh my legs my legs or something about the legs like i broke my leg or um i fractured something um and it really like broke my heart it broke me because like this path oh uh, I don't know if this is someone that you know or if this is like you okay um but i'm seeing an injured dancer or an injured athlete okay um that's a tough one i'm very sorry if that is you or someone that you know um because it's like you saw that that promise you saw that success you saw that dream and it was just like taken away um, I'm very, very sorry for that. I'm seeing that whoever this is for, whether this is you or someone that you know, um, please give them this message that they're going to do something very beautiful with what they have gone through. Their journey is going to unfold beautifully. 
um, they're going to find um, a new means of, of their personal power. They're going to find a new means of success, um, you or they. I don't know. I feel like this is for someone that someone knows. Because I'm seeing someone give them this message and say, this is what you need to hear. Like, someone needs to hear this. An injured athlete, an injured dancer, and someone... Oh, you were completely... Um, or they were just, like, loved by their athletics, loved by their movement. Um, and it's just, like, if I don't have this, what do I have to live for? So that's what's restricting you or this person from moving forward but i'm seeing that spirit is going to provide okay let spirit be your guide on your journey there's a lot of healing right now taking place regarding self-love first and foremost um but i'm seeing i'm seeing that you or they are going to do something very beautiful with what that experience was for them helping a lot of people you're gonna find a new successful endeavor okay helping others um being out in the media i don't know why i feel like this is someone famous someone famous here with the sun, sun with the sun someone in the public eye <clears throat> Um, I just, I just see a, a new way, like a new, a new, um, a new journey is going to unfold for this person in a way that they just did not expect and it's going to be very successful. Okay, they're going to find happiness and joy once again. Um, there's a lot of family that supports you or this person, if this is you or someone that you know this is happening to. There's a lot of people like that love this person, that watch this person, um, and they will support them or you. They will support you. Okay, I think this is all I, that I have. This was a, a little bit longer than I um, expected, but... I, you know, we don't rush spirit. All the messages need to come through. I feel like this is it for today. So I love you guys very much. Until next time.